G'day you cool motherfuckers, the Butts Barn here, and as far as videos that have been requested this week for me to cover, there has been none more so than a friend of the show and good old vegan pal, Vegan Booty, also known as Tash Peterson. When it comes to annoying vegans, Tash Peterson takes the broccoli infused cake. She fucking takes it, runs with it, then gobbles it down. Now, Tash has been in the news for a long time. She's always doing something weird. She was walking into the shops with the nipples out. She had to go to court over that. And, you know, that's a whole nother story. But this week, she did something just fucking rude. She went around and basically ruined a lot of people's days, including a lot of young children who were having a wonderful time. But Tash had to walk up and just go, I'm fucking more important than any of you tiny children. Honestly, Tash. I do not want to make videos about you, but if you continue to be in the news doing ridiculous things, then I'm gonna fucking talk about it, bruz. Just quickly though, I wanted to thank all the good motherfuckers who came out to the Melbourne International Comedy Festival last week. It was amazing. I met so many of you, so many amazing people from different backgrounds, and it was just fucking awesome. I loved it, and I'm so happy to be back on the road doing stand-up comedy shows all over the country. In the next couple of weeks, I'm off to Port Macquarie and Coffs Harbour, then Lismore and Byron Bay. So go and get your tickets. The link is down below. Now, back to Veggio Booty. Now, it is a stupid fucking name, that vegan booty bullshit. It's also a name that some other lady had that I'm pretty sure Tash just went, no, I'm going to take that name. And then she got a bit of backlash about it and now changed it to v, v Booty. Whatever, who gives a shit? I'm going to name you fucking Veggio Dirtbox. That is your name from now on, Tash. Or should I say Veggio Dirtbox? If you don't know what a dirtbox is, it's an ass. Anyway. Now you know. The more you know. Can I get a Veggio Dirt box in the comments? Thank you very much. Oh, and by the way, just to ruin your fucking day, ladies and gentlemen at home, she recently went on a live stream with that vegan teacher and they both became topless. Bye. Okay, here's yeah. something. I love ya! Someone loves her. <laughs> Aw, that's nice. Very cute. Okay. And then here's another one. Ha ha ha. Oh, and of course, this is weird. I hope you're watching this whilst eating and just projectile spewed all over the wall. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, Veggie Dirtbox goes to the beach with her boyfriend, this bloke, the king of soy. This is steamed asparagus jack. <laughs> steamed asparagus, because it's real limp and all that shit. Anyway, not, not important. There at the beach, they see something horrifying. Something that must be addressed. Something that they need to do something about right now or the vegan gods will smite them. They see some ponies being dressed as unicorns, being pecked by children. Horrifying stuff, I know. And this is a trigger warning to all of you who have PTSD associated with small children petting you and ponies. All of you out there, it's gonna be all right. Who's, who's the owner of these innocent she's not. She's not. Um, no, it's okay, ladies. Please, it's the children are here and I want you to respect Yeah, I just them. want to know who the slave owner is. Okay, because thank this is you. disgusting. So this is animal is... abuse. The slave owner. The fucking slave owner. I have said this so many times. And in conversations I have with people, listen, this is a little secret. I don't hate vegan people. Not at all. I know a lot of them. I'm friends with a lot of them. I understand why they do what they do. And I feel like even, even Veggie Boot Dog, she sort of feels like she's doing the right thing all the time. And that's wonderful. But what they do, and this is the hardcore vegans we're talking about here, they ruin it for all the other ones. A lot of vegans are just doing it because they love animals, they don't want to hurt animals, etc, etc. Or maybe they feel better on a vegan diet. And if you do, cool, whatever. But that is ruined. And your reputation is ruined by people like Tash and Asparagus Jack. You are ruining it for everybody else because you carry on like a bunch of fucking idiots walking up and claiming that ponies are slaves when they go into a kid's party. What are you fucking talking about? You ruin it for everybody else and you are the reason that so many people hate vegan people, can't stand vegan people and vegan people annoy them. They associate their lives with what you do. But please don't stop because uh, this is why I make vegan merch and vegan videos. People fucking love it. So yeah, continue. And thank you. Oh, oh, oh. You're all disgusting. You're all hanging out of your shorts. I'm sorry. Why are you jealous, mate? 
<laughs> so old love off camera has said Vigo boot dogs vegan dirt box you put those dirty ass cheeks away she's making fun of your ass cheeks all right and if you're wearing fucking shorts with your ass cheeks hanging out you need to be aware that people are going to make fun of you but what vego dirt box claims through all of this is that this is actually body shaming and when men do it it's misogyny and all this shit vego Mrs. Dirtbox, can I call you Mrs. Dirtbox? What I challenge you to do, all right? And I'm not gonna body shame you. I'm gonna say this right now. I challenge you to a butt cheek off. I know that I have better butt cheeks than you. I know that my supple, white, hairy man cheeks make yours look like a big pile of shit. My dump truck makes women across the globe weak at the knees. I don't know where I'm going with this. But anyway, Butts Barn OnlyFans, coming soon. If you were in their position, would you be happy? That pony has its head in a bucket of food. Who out there would not be happy, pleased, content with themselves if they had their head in a bucket of food? Have you ever been to KFC and got one of those big buckets? It's quite pleasing, alright? You got the big bucket of chicken and you shove your fucking big melon in. That's what that pony's been doing. These ponies are just sitting there eating buckets of food and getting pats on the back from kids, getting photos. It's easy, they're fucking celebrities for the day. Wonderful. But Tash, I'll ask you this, big dog, vego dirt box. Now, why aren't you going after the industries that actually harm animals and actually make profit from the harm of animals? Look at the greyhound industry. Why aren't you trying to do something about that, Tash? Why don't you have a bit of a go, love, instead of just trying to make the news about stupid shit that doesn't matter? And they're slaves. They've been conditioned to be this way. If they could speak, they wouldn't want to be like... Could you just step this is away? Like, so are you the slave owner of these slaves? They're eating out of a bucket of food. What else did these ponies have to do for the day? Stand in a field? These motherfuckers got to go for a drive and get pats and wear flowers. This is the best day of their lives. And you're ruining it, you sad excuse for an animal rights activist. If this isn't objectifying non-human animals, then I don't know what is. You need to parade them for entertainment. Shut the fuck up, soy boy. So you can... Parade them. We're sitting there with people taking photos. What do you think parading is? Yeah, but they can't consent. They can't consent. Have they watched the milkshake video? Maybe if they learned how to communicate with humans instead of just sitting around doing fuck all all day, then they would be able to consent or not consent, or at least have a conversation. I mean, fuck me. Learn how to talk or do sign language or write in a fucking extra sketch, you sad excuses for animals sitting around waiting to be glue. So the dirt box lady, she made the news, she was everywhere, and this is why we're making this video, this is what we're talking about. But she also made this response, shall we? In this video, I'm going to be talking about a recent protest that I did. This protest was unplanned and I was just spending a day outside in Fremantle where I came across a couple of ponies who were dressed as unicorns and some women were dressed as fairies. Regardless of the scale of care and love they receive by their owners, this does not make it morally okay. Okay, so there is no point arguing with people like this. They have been indoctrinated into the church of veganism where their word, their science, their everything is gospel. They pray to a broccoli on the cross. They don't want to hear what you have to say regardless of the evidence that you may come to them with. So there's no point continuing this video trying to break down vegan booty's argument. It doesn't fucking matter. But what I will say is the only reason I covered this video that she's making right here is because of this next scene. For entertainment as well as profit is completely immoral. So I'm just gonna have a readout of- How big is that fucking phone? Like, that's a giant phone. And, Fago Buto, can I ask you this? Did you ever think about the enormous amount, maybe millions of animals, who had their ecosystems destroyed so that you could have that giant fucking plasma screen in your hands? Hmm. No. You're a fucking hypocrite, aren't you? 
I think I can speak for every single Australian and I'll use an Australian term, an expression, to end this video here. Tash Peterson, Vegan Booty, Vego Dirt Box, shut your guts. Be a good motherfucker, peace to the Middle East, me dick stinks, keep it moist, to Au revoir.